Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with another game from Baseball Max of my 1974 Chicago White Sox season, which is not going very well so far. We have played 30 games, and we have a, uh, or 31, 31 games, yeah. We played 31 games, and... We are uh, 13 and 18 after that point. And um, <clears throat> you can see we are uh, fourth, wait, fifth? Yes, fifth in the AL West with the 13 and 18 record. Nine games out of first place. Five and 10 at home and only eight and eight on the road. And three and seven in our last ten. Now remember, in real life, the 1974 White Sox had a 500 record, so we would have to uh, we're going to have to make up some games somewhere to even tie that record. Um, and you can see we have a negative 47 run differential, and we've lost three straight games. So let's go to the summary page, and we will advance to the next game, which. We'll play the games that um, we are not involved in. And once the computer has accomplished that, uh, we will be playing, although it doesn't look like we play today, does it? No, we may not even play today, so may have to uh, simul simulate through some games here. Um, on some and may, maybe even some days to get to the point where we have our 32nd game of the season. Okay, so we are taking on Oakland, and uh, we will do that in manual play. This will be a Friday, May 17th, 1974 game against the A's who, as you might remember, in 1974 were a very good team. So we will get on with that game and hope for the best. So <clears throat> our lineup today will be Buddy Bradford leading off and playing right field, followed by Carlos May in the left field batting second, and then Dick Allen in the third spot at first base. Belton Bill Melton will be the cleanup hitter, playing third base. Ron Santo will bat fifth and play second. Ken Henderson will play center field batting sixth. Brian Downing is the DH today and he will be batting seventh. Ed Herman will be the catcher batting eighth and Bucky Dent batting ninth and playing shortstop. Pitching today is Jim Cott so we do have a chance here um, and uh, 292 earned run average and a 118 whip and uh the lineup for Oakland will be Bill North leading off playing center field. Um, Campanaris will bat second and play shortstop. Joe Rudy bats third and plays left field. Gene Tennis will be the cleanup hitter and play first base. Jesus Alou will bat fifth and uh, play DH for them. Uh, Ray Fossey is the catcher batting sixth. Mangual is batting seventh playing right field. Ted Kubiak is going to bat 8th and play 2nd. And Pitts will bat ninth and play 3rd base. The pitcher will be Dave Hamilton. And so we will get on with the game. We're going to be batting 1st, obviously. And, uh, or no, wait. Oakland is batting 1st. Okay. I don't know why they listed us 1st before. But anyway, I guess we're the home team. So, Bill North... And, uh, ooh, he was thrown out trying to maybe stretch a single. I don't know. So that's one out. And Burt Campanaris is up. And that's going to be a ground ball to second. So there's two out quickly for Oakland here in the top of the first inning. And Joe Rudy is up. And it's, he's going to pop out to shortstop. So Oakland goes quickly there in the first. And that will bring us up to the plate with Buddy Bradford. Has a good card. Good card against lefties. 
but that's not going to be a good thing. That's not a great result. It's a fly out. So there's one down and Carlos May up. Carlos May not so good against them, but he does manage to get a possible double here. Let's see what the split dice come up with. It is a double. So Carlos May is aboard at second base with only one out. And that brings up Dick Allen. And Dick Allen will get a ground ball to second base, but that results in a single. And so we have runners at the corners with only one out and Bill Melton, power hitting Bill Melton coming up. But that's going to be a fly to center field, and that results in a double. The Oakland outfield is just corroding here and allowing us all kinds of runs. Well, at least only one so far, but there's only one out. If Ron Santo can even put this ball in the air, and he can, and that is a sacrifice fly plus an error, so he is safe at second, and we have a 3 nothing lead. That brings up Ken Henderson. we got to keep it going, though, because this is Oakland. They can score. You know they can score quickly. That'll be a ground ball to second base, but that will move the runner over to third with Brian Downing up not, and a man 90 feet away. And he is going to fly out. But we did get three runs, and you got to think maybe Jim Cott can hold that. Um he has a 483 earned run average for us on the season, but maybe he can hold this. 311, that is going to be a fly ball to right field for Gene Tennis, and he is out. Jesus Alou is up. He'll get a 3 3, and that's going to be a pop out to second. So there's two down quickly again for Oakland here in the second inning, and Ray Fossey is the batter. And Ray Fossey is going to get a pop-out to first base. So we're going to the bottom of the second inning. Ed Herman is the batter. That will be a fly ball for Mr. Ed Herman. Left-handed batters don't do so great against uh, Dave Hamilton. And uh, Bucky Dent is the batter. And he's going to walk. So Bucky Dent is aboard with only one out. Um, he is a stealing D, however, so we'll just keep him there. We're not even going to try anything with him. That's a 5-5. Five, five. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. And that's going to be a force play. They do make the play that time. I was hoping with all the errors that are all the uh, misplays that Oakland was making in the first inning that they would do it again. But they did. And so that's a ground out for May. And we're out of the inning quickly with only one man aboard that uh, inning, and it was Bucky Dent. And so we go to the top of the third inning, and Angel Mangual is the batter, and he's going to walk. So that's the first base runner uh, for Oakland this game with Ted Kubiak up. And that's going to be a pop-out to short. So there's going to be one down, man at first base, four... Galen Pitts. And that's going to be a foul out to third base for Mr. Pitts. That's the Pitts. That's what the Oakland manager is saying. And uh, Bill North is up. And Bill North is going to get a single. He rips a single. Let's see if they can send the man to third. He might try for it. Runner will stay at second. So they're only going to have runners at first and second here with two outs. Not trying to... Uh, uh, you know, risk it and Burt Campanaris the batter. If he hits the two column, we might have a problem, but he doesn't. That's a ground ball to short, but that's a single and an error. Bucky Dent not playing on top of his game here allows a run to score, and that brings up Joe Rudy with runners at second and third. And that is going to be a single, at uh, well, a, at least a single, and it is. It's a single and it drives in at least one run might uh, put in a second one. I'm going to... Nah, I'm going to stop the runners. They're, they're going to tie the game. See, this is why I said back in the first inning we really needed to try to put some more runs up on the board than just three. So, the game is tied now with Gene Tennis up and a man at first. And he's going to walk. 
had a great on-base percentage, obviously, Gene Tennis did. He was a good power hitter, too. And that will be a fly ball to center. So Jim Cott gets out of it, but not before he allows the Oakland A's to tie the game in the third, which brings up Dick Allen, who never gets anything. I mean, this guy has, is terrible. He's only, he's only hitting 241 for us. Bill Melton comes up with one down. He gets a 2-8. He's only hitting 225. I mean, this is this is part of the problem we're having. And then Ron Santo is up. Ron Santo now is hitting 278, though. He's going to get a foul out to the catcher, though. So we go pretty quickly there. Uh, we're going to the top of the fourth in a three-all game. Jim Cott still out there for us because we have a terrible bullpen. And uh, that's going to be a pop-out to third base for Ray Fossey. Plus, Cott's inning of weakness is seven anyway, so, you know, he can go at least to the seven pretty clean. That's going to be a fly to left, so there's two down for Manguel. And um, Ted Kubiak is the batter. And that will be a strikeout. So, Cott gets out of that inning cleanly. Of course, he still had the disastrous third inning, and that's why we're tied at three. Ken Henderson is the batter, our center fielder. That is going to be a ground ball first. And remember, a lot of the runs we got, we got them because, like at least two of the runs we got probably, we got because Oakland misplayed balls and made errors. And you can't really count on that to happen too often with this Oakland team. So that is two down, and Ed Herman is up. Again, not much of a chance of getting on here. That's a pop-out to the catcher. We go down quickly. We're going to the top of the fifth inning in a three-all game. Galen Pitts is the batter. That will be a fly to right. So there's one down. Bill North is the batter. Let's hope we can get him out quickly, and we can. He is going to ground out to third. And that brings up Bert Campanarish. And he is going to ground out to shortstop. So they do go quickly. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. And Bucky Dent is the batter. And he's going to single. So Bucky Dent's aboard. But again, we've established he can't steal very well. And Buddy Bradford has a good card. If, if he can get a hold of like one of his columns, but he can't, he gets the strikeout right between two on-base chances on Hamilton's card. So there's one down and Carlos May, the batter. Love that 2-2. Would love to see it, but we're not going to get it. We're going to get a double play to the pitcher. And so we're out of that inning. We go to the top of the sixth. We have uh, a 3-3 tie on our hands here. Joe Rudy has a possible single. Only a 50% chance for it, though. And he does get it, though. So uh, that's not good. 50% chance he comes through for it, and uh, we're in the you know middle of this great A's lineup with Joe with uh, with uh, yeah he decides not to go with Gene Tennis up, and that's going to be a ground ball B. So now uh, Tennis will be the guy at at first, which is probably better. He doesn't have probably as much speed as Rudy does. Jesus Alou is the batter. He is going to get a fly out. So that's two down. And that will bring up Mr. Ray Fossey. And that's going to be a single. Let's see if they try to send the runner to third. And no, they won't. He'll stay at second. So there's runners at first and second with two down and... Angel Manguel is the batter. And that's going to be a pass ball. So now there's runners at second and third with two out. And Angel Manguel still up. And that's going to be a single one to two. I don't like their chances there, but, you know, it can come up if it's there. And it doesn't, luckily. So that's a line out and the game stays tied. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Dick Allen is the batter. You know, again, he's only hitting 239. That is going to be a ground ball to first, and he's out. 
Bill Melton. Belton Bill Melton is the batter. And that's going to be a strikeout, so he's out. And this, yeah, this White Sox team is not very good at all. Um, Ron Santo is the bat. When he's one of our better hitters, you got a problem. A possible single there, 50% chance. And he doesn't get it, so we're out, and we're going to the top of the seventh in a tie game. And remember, this is back in the day. This is 1974, so there is going to be no phantom runners, nothing like that, no gimmicks, no games. There's a single, though, for Ted Kubiak. So he's aboard against Cott here in the seventh inning with Galen Pitts up. And Galen Pitts is going to line out to shortstop, so there's one down. One down and a man at first. And Bill North is the batter. And that's going to be a line out into a double play. Nice. So we're going to the bottom of the seventh. If we can get a run here and continue to hold them from here on out, we can uh, obviously win the game. Obviously. 2-2. Two -two. Ken Henderson is out. That's going to be a fly to left. Brian Downing is the batter. And that's going to be a single. So Brian Downing is aboard. He's a stealing E, though. He's a rock out there on the base pads. He isn't going anywhere. And uh, Ed Herman is the batter. And Ed Herman is going to pop out to first. Pop out. And there is two down. And Bucky Dent is the batter. And he's going to strike out. So we're going to the top of the eighth inning in a tie game. And Burt Campanaris is the batter. Ground ball to the pitcher. And it is a ground out. Cott plays it successfully over to first. Joe Rudy is the batter. Avoid those home runs. That's a fly to right. What's going to happen there? It's a fly out. Good. Buddy Bradford makes the play. And Gene Tennis is the batter. And that'll be a fly ball B. So Oakland goes quickly there. Again, if we could get a run right here and then just hold them in the ninth, that's all we'd have to do to hang on for the win. That's going to be a walk for Buddy Bradford. So he's aboard. Dave Hamilton is still the pitcher for the moment. Carlos May is up. That's going to be a fly to right, and what happens? It's a double! So we might just score this inning. Dick Allen is the batter. We only need a fly ball from him. We don't even need a hit. We just need a fly ball. But he's going to walk, and it's going to load the bases with nobody out. And uh, Bill Melton. Belton Bill Melton. That's going to be a walk that forces in a run. Still no outs. I like our chances of winning this game. Ron Santo will be the batter. And they do bring in a new pitcher. It's Raleigh Fingers. They finally go to the bullpen and bring in Raleigh Fingers. And that will be a 4-12, which is a fly ball center field C and doesn't score anybody. The bases are still loaded, but now with one out. And Ken Henderson is the batter. And he will get a strikeout. So this is amazing. We had a chance to get a lot of runs right here. And we may only walk away with one. But Brian Downing is the batter. He's got a good on base card. And that's going to be a single. That will score at least one run. And uh, let's see. Lead runner. Yeah, 95%. I'm going to try that. He's being waved home. The throw is coming home. Um, I'm going to hold the trailing runner. There's no need to even gamble on that and just make sure that the uh, lead runner scores because they got to roll a 20 to get him. And they don't. So we do take a two-run lead. It's going to be 5-3 right here. And that's going to bring up Ed Herman. And I'll let Ed Herman bat. He's not the greatest of hitters, but he is going to fly out. So we're going to the top of the ninth. I would assume Cott is not tired yet, so we're going to let him keep pitching. 
That is a pop out to shortstop. So there's one down. We're two outs away from winning this game. And that brings up Ray Fossey. Uh oh, Ray Fossey just possibly hit a double. Now we're still ahead by two, so one run isn't going to matter. And he only gets a single out of it anyway. Um, Angel Manguel is the batter, and they're going to pinch hit Reggie Jackson. Of course, Reggie Jackson didn't start the game. I'm really thankful for that, but I don't know why. And he strikes out. So there is two down, and uh, Ted Kubiak is the batter. Probably Jackson was tired or whatever, tiring. That's a strikeout, and we do win the game. So uh, there is the, uh, let's go get the box score. So here's the box score for the batters for both teams. Want to take a look at that. Uh, Bill Melton seems to have been our star. He was one for three with two RBIs. And, of course, Cott pitching really well here. He uh, extends his record to 4-3. and three. He went nine innings, allowed seven hits, walked two, so nine guys on in nine innings, which is good, and only two earned runs. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.